I'm not usually a morning person, but I was so excited for this trip that I was up before the alarm even went off and had extra time to tinker with my things. So Kevin is on his way somewhere behind me. Maybe he'll be a few minutes behind because he's going straight to camp. I am going to see llamas. <laughs> The drive there was beautiful, but then I hit this weird patch of what I thought was smog, but turns out to be just morning fog there. And then it was time to meet <laughs> the llamas. Hi. You're not gonna spit at me, are you? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Hi, llama. So if you're wondering by now, how did I land this amazing opportunity? That's because Buddy and I have followed each other's blogs for a few years. She won't hurt you. You just go right up to her. Look at the way she trots. Look at the ears. <laughs> So Buddy let it slip that he had llamas, and after that, every time he posted about them, it was, I want to pet the llamas! And well, finally, I got to pet the llamas. They don't want to be sure in this heat. Well, this is the game we play. Even though they like getting out and doing things, they don't always like getting caught to do things, <laughs> so, and he's not going to hurt me or anything, guys. Come on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, come on, hold on, good boy. So, now that HP is caught, look at this Trader Cadell just walls it over like, oh man, I tried to help, but they were too quick. So shaving the llamas is actually a lot harder than it looks. They do move around a lot. They don't like when you get too close to their legs, but I did give it a shot and I think I did a pretty okay job. If anything, the really hard part is catching them. And here you can see Cadell giving us a run for our money for the second time in a row. But eventually we managed to work together to corner him and after that, it was his turn for his summer haircut. Are you coming? Yeah. yeah. Want to go home? <laughs> hey, come back here. And they don't like to really bring up the real juicy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the juicy it stuff. A bad taste in your mouth too. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> but he did have a few other gems on his property and we had a long chat and then it was time for me to catch up with Kevin at the campground but first I fulfilled my promise to Buddy to stop at one of the overlooks just to see Lake Elsinore in all her beauty and I'm actually really glad that I did. Next week, I guess we'll find out how my first tent camping trip went. 
Was it a horrible idea to leave the rain fly off all night? Or was my camping trip a success? I guess we'll find out next Friday. Bye!